This is the year 3000. The world has transformed into a place unlike any boomer has ever imagined. But what would our world exactly look like in the future? Let's travel a few decades ahead in time. Our planet will not be the epicenter of the whole revolution. It would be us, the humans. We're about to become what's known as a Type 2 civilization in the Kardashev scale. That means we're getting ready to use the energy from our whole star, the Sun. To do that, we're building a massive structure called a Dyson Sphere. Imagine a gigantic shell so big it could swallow up the Sun. This enormous hollow ball will catch all the Sun's energy, an incredibly smart superintelligence, almost like a god running the show, telling many self-replicating ships where to go and what to do. They're getting the materials they need from our asteroid belt, the Kuiper Belt near Pluto, and the Oort Cloud at the edge of the solar system. This Dyson Sphere will collect more energy in a single second than we've used in centuries. The inside of the sphere will have gravity just like the Earth's and will be made from totally new forms of matter. It's all so that the Dyson Sphere can hold itself together. The sphere's surface is so large it's like having millions of Earths together. Some areas of this sphere could be turned into living spaces by ensuring the availability of air, water, and land. It could be a new home for all kinds of beings, including humans, transhumans, clones, and androids. And the Dyson Sphere isn't the end of the story. We're also planning to build more of these structures around other stars. And while they're gathering all this star stuff, we're going to cool down the sun and extend its life for billions of years. This is a huge, thrilling leap forward for all of humanity. Not only does it ensure a drastic change in the way of life, but also its longevity. Yes, this is the year 3000, so some people who were born way back in the early 2100s are still around today. This has been possible thanks to an amazing development called digital immortality. A lot of these long-lived people spend their time in really, really lifelike computer simulations. They're so real, in fact, that it feels like they're actually living in a physical world. Other people who've lived for hundreds of years are doing so in specially made bodies. These are artificial but feel like the real thing. Now, you might wonder what people do with all that extra time. Well, some of the richest and most influential people from the past have used their immortality to keep running big businesses and governments for hundreds of years. It's like they've built huge empires that last for ages. But running things for so long can get pretty complicated. That's why these people have made digital copies of themselves to help manage different parts of their businesses. Each of these digital clones can take care of a different part of the organization. So there you have it. Thanks to digital immortality, people don't have to worry about getting old anymore. They can live for hundreds of years, either in realistic computer simulations or in specially made bodies. If people can be simulated, then why not a galaxy? By that we mean that till the year 3000, an entire galaxy would have been brought to life in a digital dimension. These simulated universes will so intricately mimic ours that it would have atoms and physical laws akin to our reality. With this coded cosmos, civilizations would be blossoming on various planets and moons, living their lives in utter certainty of the reality of their existence. Already, the most advanced among these civilizations have begun peering into the depths of their simulated space, inventing telescopes to gaze upon the cosmic theater unfolding around them. To accommodate their curiosity, the simulated universe projects detailed holographic depictions of distant galaxies, a view into the unknown designed to satiate their scientific endeavors. The journey of these virtual societies parallels our own historical progression as they stand at the brink of a significant milestone. They are on the cusp of birthing their first artificial intelligence, a technological marvel that mirrors humanity's achievements in the early 2000s. It's a testament to the profound complexity of this digital universe, which faithfully replicates the evolutionary journey of civilizations. If that is the thing, don't you think that we might be living in a simulation as well? Do let us know what you think in the comments section below. By the year 3000, Venus will be terraformed which means that it will become a habitable Earth-like planet. 
Its entire orbit will be adjusted, moved further from the Sun to position it closer to the Goldilocks zone where biological life thrives. As a result, average temperatures will settle around a comfortable 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The day and night cycle, currently an unwieldy 117 days, will be quickened to a more manageable 24 hours. Comets, made of ice from distant reaches of the Oort cloud and the Kuiper belt, will be redirected, guided through the solar system and deliberately crashed into Venus's upper atmosphere to release copious amounts of water. Concurrent to this, a mammoth task of removing carbon dioxide from Venus's atmosphere will be undertaken. This will be made possible by dispersing swarms of nanobots into the air. These minuscule machines will soak up carbon dioxide and other toxic gases, replacing them with a breathable mix that replicates Earth's atmosphere. But there is a planet that would be terraformed way before Venus. Yes, we are talking about Elon Musk's favorite red ball, Mars. By the time we reach the 2300s, we will witness the formation of frozen lakes and ponds in various regions on Mars. Following this, we'll successfully cultivate the first genetically adapted mosses and lichens, hardy life forms capable of withstanding harsh environments. As we step into the 2400s, entire seas and oceans will begin to materialize, accompanied by the advent of the first trees, diverse plant species, and insects. This vibrant burst of life will trigger a series of chain reactions and positive feedback loops, fueling the process with even greater momentum. By the time we transition into the 2500s, we'll witness an infusion of diverse animal life, including fish, birds, reptiles, and mammals on the red planet. Eventually, the day will come when Mars will be declared safe for non-enhanced fully biological humans to stroll its surface without the need for protective spacesuits. Through our relentless efforts and technological prowess, we have sculpted a second Earth. Not just one or two, but by the year 3000, the number of inhabitable planets would be around 100,000. After a few centuries, humans will extend their reach into the cosmos, inhabiting a region spanning nearly 1,000 light years in radius. This monumental leap in space exploration will signify our species' presence across about 2% of the entire span of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. The new frontiers of our living space will compromise Earth-like worlds, including planets, moons, and asteroids, each possessing the essential conditions to nurture biological life. We just stated that in the first phase of terraforming Mars, biological beings will be made to survive there. This will be achieved through our ability to create biological organisms within mere minutes. We'll harness the power of advanced versions of nanotechnology and programmable matter, which we've already used to construct robots and synthetic bodies in astonishingly short times. With DNA databases and the right set of molecules, we'll be able to replicate complex biological life forms in the blink of an eye. These rapid-fire creations will often first manifest in simulations, holograms, and holodecks. We will also be able to fine-tune their appearances and behaviors before we introduce them into the physical world. And the possibilities won't stop at replicating existing life forms. We'll also have the power to create entirely new species by manipulating the parameters of various biological features. In the time it takes to make a cup of tea, we could create entirely new forms of life pushing the boundaries of our biological existence in the realms of the cosmos. Thanks for watching. To know what technologies are emerging in the near future, click on the video link popping up. See you there!